Welcome to Search Engines using Google Search. For today's presentation, you will need to know the following vocabulary words. Search Engine, Results Page, Home Page, Filters, Query, Images, Search Tools, Advanced Search, and Usage Rights. This is the Google Search Engine homepage. The image on this page changes often to reflect events happening in the world. You can find this page by typing www.google.com in the address bar of your browser. When you are searching for something, it's called a query. You will type your query here in the search bar. When you enter your query, be as exact as possible. Use words or phrases not sentences or questions. Once you have entered your query, you can press enter or the Google search button. The I'm feeling lucky button will take you directly to the page Google would suggest as the top link in search results. This should not be used when conducting research because you need to evaluate each result before using the information. Here we will use the query cats to conduct a search. The page displayed after you enter your query and press enter is called the results page. Here you will see that what the search engine has found for you. From this page you can use search tools to help you find the information that best meets your needs. This page is displaying all results. The results can be filtered by media types such as videos, images, news, and more. By clicking on search tools, I will get two drop down menus. The first is anytime and the second is all results. Using the anytime menu, I can filter my results by when they were published to the web. This makes looking for information easier and I can get the most current information, especially for current events that are happening as time is passing. When I select images to filter my search results, I can click on search tools for more options. I can now filter my results of images by size, color, type, time, or usage rights. Filtering by usage rights is very helpful when using images on reports or displays. This will help you comply with copyright laws. When I choose to filter by usage rights, I could choose not filtered by license, labeled for reuse with modification, labeled for reuse, labeled for non-commercial reuse with modification, or labeled for non-commercial reuse. Using the search settings menu is another good tool to help you search more successfully. You can access this menu by clicking on the gear at the top right hand corner of the results. Advanced search explains how to adjust your query so that you can get the best results in the most efficient manner. Following these directions will help you find specific information. If you type in cats, you may want something more specific, such as tabby cats. You can put those words in quotes, tabby cats, and narrow your results. In addition, you can put a minus sign just before words you don't want. And you can go scroll down this page to find other helpful searching tools. Now you're ready to begin to search the web using Google Search Engine. Remember that whenever you use information you have found in your searches, you must cite your sources. Do not use any information or images without first checking that is labeled for reuse and that you have cited it correctly. Good luck in your searches. Have fun learning new things.